uh, to more to the point, you find yourselves uh, embroiled in an encounter with a uh, effervescent opponent. Perhaps these smoke smog wraiths have found their way into uh, Cogsmith's uh, place, which is of course Choma's old place, a place you have been before. Um, while you were preparing for this evening, um, you you decided rather begrudgingly to kind of make camp here in this middle chamber instead of off in the lab, uh, and I believe that's kind of where we left it uh, to get a little more meta just to bring you up to speed since it has been a moment. Um, this is one of about three leads four if you count just like the rumor you heard about people disappearing uh but three solid leads that you got uh after you went to the glutted golem and spoke to germ and Gur, which is of course one entity with two heads uh and in speaking to him and several patrons you were able to develop uh, an idea of some goings on about town and decided upon this as your first course of action and when you found Cogsmith here, he explained to you first his uncanny resemblance to Shoma, uh, because he's his intern loyal student, of course, not because it's the same token at all. And then he explained how he had booby-trapped and fortified the lab, but could not quite convince you all to enter the same. Uh, if I recall, yes. Chesty convinced us that uh, we would have no problem against incorporeal creatures. I believe there was some discussion amongst uh, the party. I said nothing of the sort. I said we don't know if they are actually incorporeal or if they're using trickery. Let's set up a trap in the hallway. That sounds, yeah, that sounds familiar. At no point was anything said about them definitely, certainly not being incorporeal or not being a problem. Uh, well, with that said, uh, if anyone, or without any objection, I'll go ahead and clear the chat to hopefully la uh, unlag us some. Anybody good with that? Yeah. I don't, I don't think there was anything we specifically needed to remember. Um, other than I will mention or re-mention, uh, of course, these creatures entered in a unusual fashion right kind of like seeping through they are they are definitely you know the smoky form but within the mist as it were uh are these you know like like literal corpses that seem to be not uh you know made of mist they seem to be actual like corpses that are somehow mixed up into the you know, mach machination of this thing, uh, whatever it may be composed of, uh, incorporeally or not, as it may be. So, with that, uh, I believe we stopped at the top of the round, as we do, uh, and this smog wraith, small wraith, uh, was about to probably just kill Vim Guard right here. That's probably what he was going to do. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that smog ends at the doorway, so only Vimgard is in it still. Or uh, so I believe it's it's a uh, it's one of those that Foundries like does it does it do it auto magically? Uh, let's see, what's that? Yeah, effect noxious smog. So like if you're in it, you're in it, and the line is there. If you if you zoom, wait, where are you? You're out of it. Yeah. So it's the line right now is at the hallway. But it's it's an emanation from from them, right? Yeah. So if they move, it moves, and you see the line. It's just when it goes in the dark. If you zoom way in, geez, you can zoom way in. Wow. Sorry, squirrel. So yeah, if you zoom way in, you can see it. It's a good. I mean, it's like a sixty foot. I think. Let's see. I'll tell you exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, thirty foot. Thirty foot emanation. All right, so <laughs> yes, I believe I believe everyone had kind of evacuated, and sh and uh, Lyle's here. I forget who's got him. Is it Net? Is it uh, Krillin? I believe Krillin grabbed him and tugged him in here. Yeah, yeah it's me. But I think I spread y'all out just so we could like see you, right? 
Yeah. yeah. I believe he's supposed to be like on Krillin space, basically. Yes, yeah, yeah, right, right. right. Okay. Yes. Look, I could do this. I'll give you this. You know, like, you're. Because you, he would. You maybe wouldn't be dragging him, right? You'd be like. Put, like move it. Jump. Alright. I'm going to clear that effect. Because yeah. it was lagging so, up. Yeah. Uh, for. Well, and yeah, do you have any questions? Because you, you had missed. So, yeah, go ahead. Uh, where is this? Why is this? And how okay. much of that are so, you going to So, remind me, because I. I'm, this was, there's no way I remember when, when and I know it was like an hour when did you leave last time like what do you last remember y'all were talking to this guy we were talking to the dude at the bar okay at the dude at the bar I okay. one five finger fillet perfect so you guys eventually got three clues out of that um I mean, we don't have to go deep into them right now, but this is the one that you followed because this place was familiar to the party because back in, I think it was all the way back in the first book even, uh, a trail led to a person uh, that occupied this lab and a big fight, I think the first big fight, went down in here in this lab over here and there were like all these chemicals and a crazy golem and all that. So anyway, this is where the party came and upon questioning uh, Lyle's cogsmith here about, you know, what was going on, um, he, well, he was terrified of me. I think he was hiding even when they first came in. Uh, and he uh, essentially was, like, telling them that he was expecting an attack, like this, like this very evening. Uh, and so you guys all just basically prepared for it. Um, he... He didn't really know like who was after him, but he had been like accosted. This has been like kind of following him, right? So at this point, you guys are all just unaware of why this is happening per se, but you know you expected the attack. Okay. So, and then the other clues. I mean, I won't bother going into them right now, but uh, we can definitely just ask me tomorrow. <laughs> If I can uh, go down there, sure. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. with that, uh, this thing, yes, I believe was pretty much fully ensconced in Vimcar because everyone else had evacuated the room. So, let me see. Um, <laughs> Corpses flying around. That's fun. Uh, so a hand reaches out and just forms out of the smog. And just tries to strike you. Very simple. Uh, so he sees and connects with you. Or maybe doesn't see you, but connects with you. Uh, and he swipes at you for a nice little chunk of damage. Uh, uh, so, this little guy, oh, I should have done this already. Uh, this little guy, you see him kind of chanting and murmuring, but nothing happens except for his other hand appears and swipes at you. However, this time, you, you expect the attack, and it misses. With that, young Sir Hideki, you find yourself in the middle of that hallway, essentially. Let's see, my gun's loaded. So. And the, he is concealed, but as a gunslinger, don't forget that if you use, I think, sniper's aim if you have it, it ignores concealment. I... I do not believe that I currently have sniper's aim. Oh yeah, that was just the first session. Let's see. It's not showing me my normal like list of stuff. How do you mean you can't open your character sheet or Oh there it is. No, I had somehow targeted myself or something weird. 
Okay. And well, and so what Saren was mentioning is so everybody within 30 feet of these things is in this small cloud. I mean, you see it right there on your D, your D bus, uh, and so it's everybody's concealed. So when you're concealed, Pathfinder, you have to do a pass a flat check to see if if your action. <coughs> connects I guess essentially okay. so my first action I'll move to the end of the hall and then I will use incredible aim which takes my last two actions but it ignores concealed and gives me a plus two circumstance bonus okay. so do I still have to do make the flat check so the foundry will do it automatically, but we will just ignore it. And but when you do your roll on your attack roll, you should be able to add that plus two, or obviously we can just you know we can add two to something. Right. We can. I don't know about you. You're still in school. <laughs> All right, so obviously we will ignore the fact that you would have failed. <clears throat> Scrub. And you hit anyway, so. How oh, fun. And plus two would not have made it a crit. It would have been a uh, seven, plus seven. Uh, all right, and you were shooting this closest one, so you slap a dap, throw a, let's see what you got, buddy. Boo, 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 boo. Uh, show about long rifle with flaming uh so you slap a sure you slap a round a flaming round into this mist and it goes right through the mist and gets swallowed up and you sense that this thing remains undamaged from that hit doesn't even take magical you sense that it remains undamaged from that hit. Dang. Probably not enough. Oh, that's the end of my turn. So I think more action, so. And now you realize why everybody's running down that hallway. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, you didn't run? <laughs> Well, he just went back up towards the room so he could get us. I didn't know. Line of sight. I didn't say nothing. I was going to wait and see if y'all said something. <laughs> Usually when you shoot something with a gun, it... I thought, the, I thought the motion of the ocean here was kind of apparent. Everybody was spilling out down the end of this hallway. And Vim Gardens, you know, standing there as the bulwark. <laughs> GG. Saren, speaking of down the hallway... One of the few that made it all the way through. You are in the uh, little middle room here. His laboratory. Or not the laboratory, but the... Uh, uh, this is like the... I don't know what this room actually is properly called. It's like an alchemy kind of room. So. Looks like you're loading. Up. Oh. I see you have visited the temple and taken a vow of silence. Yep, pull the Logan. <laughs> so I am going to uh, reload, then sniper's aim to ignore concealment and see if I can pop this guy. Are you trying to shoot this one at the, that you can see the very edge of? Yeah. Alright. And do you have that... What, I, I get you and Drez mixed up. Do you have that trait where you can shoot through stuff, right? Because you're shooting yep. through one, two, three, four. Yeah, the sniper's people. aim ignores all of those, all of that concealment as well. So if you check the feet, it kind of explains it. Well, I'm talking about like, I mean, this is you're shooting through four people, so that's not necessarily like concealment. <laughs> I'm at half 
Yeah, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, like, so, I'm, I think it might have been Dread. One of you guys mentioned before a feat that lets you, like, because, like, you're shooting through four people down a hallway, right? So there should be, yeah. like, a two or four circumstance penalty. I mean, it yeah, might... Yeah, but I it, circumstance penalty is a concealment penalty because the target is concealed. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm, to, I'm talking about there's four people standing between you and the target. This is a This is a game, like, situational thing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, fair enough. Like you can add to him for sure. Yeah. Well, but, so you don't know what I'm talking about, though? It must have been Drez. Drez, do you know what I'm talking about? I don't have it. Nope, sure. I've got absolutely nothing that lets me shoot through people. Well, I promise you I'm not crazy. Something was mentioned before because of a difficult shot. Same situation. I mean, there's, I there's Sniper's add. Aim that lets you ignore... Any Could cover that it. your target has. Like, uh, it, that is me. I forgot my eighth level thing was unbelievable luck. I demonstrate a greater ability to hit my targets regardless of any obstacles in my way. See? So that's the reason I was putting. So the reason I'm pushing on that is because the difference is a crit or not. So with that yeah, feed. That with that. Well, do you have to use that? That's just a passive thing, right? I believe it's a two action thing. It makes my shot two action. Oh, you have to use accidental shot. Yeah. But I you can. can use it once per hour. And you, but you can use that with sniper's aim, right? <laughs> if I didn't have to reload, I could have. The reloading took an action away, I believe. I wonder does it not have manipulate on it. Okay, so then this is the this is the resolution. If you can only shoot with sniper's aim, you you hit regular. If you shoot with unbelievable, you don't want to shoot with unbelievable luck. You'll lose the circumstance penalty, but that means you would have had to pass the flat check, right? Yeah, fair enough. So which, we'll just use which, the sniper's aim. Right, yeah. So I would just take that one, yeah. Okay, so just a normal hit. Normal hit, yeah. So, you shoot through this thing, and your bullet pulls a pulls a Dallas and weaves and dodges and magic bullets through the hallway, and finds just the tip of this little small guy in the back. This is the one you can see, right? Yeah, the one yeah. in the back, and he is not expecting this. And although you can tell he didn't take the full damage he seems to take uh at least eight damage from this thing from this bullet energized as it was all right good stuff drez here Fair enough. Do that. And do that. All done. What'd you say? That's it for me. Okay. Did you run down? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> His, mom, delay. his mama didn't I'm worry, he's no fool. I'm going to delay until Krillin, Krillin's done. Okay. Krillin, the initiative has been passed to you, sir. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to dra drag uh, Lyle and myself into this mm -hmm. room. Um, Get yeah. your hands off of me. <laughs> um, I don't know what else I can do here. Uh, are we just waiting right now, basically? Once we're in the room? Uh, well, Lyle starts screaming about how oh, we should have gone to the lab. And you guys notice that the hallway's got, like, you know, partial uh, you know, debris right here where he was going to block up that hallway. Not that it would have 
done much good probably against a smoke monster, but he's he starts getting a little agitated. What's this um button here that's glowing? Oh, it's a lantern sitting there. Oh. That's from where the lab is. Well, y'all know uh, where the lab is. It's where you fought Shem. I don't know where is it. It's it's to the south, right? It's the no. It's this green, right? It's uh. It's the western. Yeah, oh, all so over here. So so we need to go to the lab. Is is what we need to do? Is that what the mirror? I mean, no. He's just getting agitated because you guys are pushing him around and the monsters are attacking and he's you know. He's just slap him around, son, and tell him to stop being a bitch. Uh, that, that is an option. I was to like retreat and then fire on them and retreat and fire until we get back to the to the lab eventually. Yeah, I got nothing that'll calm him down. Intimidate athletics. <laughs> just a couple of unarmed attacks ought to do it. You could just you could just hug him gently. Can I, can I hug him using medicine? <laughs> uh, to heal him? Or I don't know, just a, whatever would calm him down. Well, I guess like a knock on the athletics, right? Put it on his cheek, and there, there. You could just put one hand on each side of his head and little stare him in the eyes and say, calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what kind of roll is that? That's not a roll, that's a... Okay, that's I, a I, I the roll the is fatherhood. <laughs> All right, GG. So he calms down a little bit. Um, and then, uh, I guess, uh, as long as you I'll don't, use, uh, I'll use battle medicine, um, assurance on myself. Uh, was it uh, DC 20? That's what you're doing. Yeah. yeah, for for my third action, might as well top off while we're leaning. So that is. Let me see. This is a tool tip. Two or three d8, something like yeah, that. Yeah, let me double check that. Uh, that is treat wound, right? Treat wound is an action. Yeah, right. I can find it. Treat wounds. Okay, so. So it's 4d8 plus 10, I guess, because I'm doing a DC 20. Well, it's not a crit, though. Oh, shit, sorry. Because um, assurance, you just sorry, take, sorry, you just I, take I success, yeah? 2d8 plus 10. Yeah. Okay, all right. There you go. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you battle medicine yourself. Uh, BRB. Noted. All right. I mean, ca calming him was not an action. So do you? Is there something else you're trying to do? Or uh, there's really not, not much I can do while standing here. So I'll just pass. Okay. You continue to restrain him. Vim guard. The last stand. When I said delay, I realized, did not realize that I was slowed one, so. You're what? I slowed am, one? Oh, I'm, yeah, that's right. Yep. So, I am going to do a recall knowledge check and then run. Okay. Uh, and and, and I, will, be, I will give you, I forget where that slowed came, it probably came from some kind of crit, something, this, that, but we'll just play it like normal where it falls off keeping in mind a lot of those crit effects say like until healed but you get the benefit I of it think was, it may have been from the just shut just, be oh, quiet. Sorry. just stop yep 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 <laughs> don't make me remember <laughs> yeah but no that's the benefit of you know yeah right. okay I think punishment enough to have to be slow this turn is fair. Yeah. All right. So you are recalling knowledge in what what way or manner would you uh, uh, like to? I mean, obviously in any way that you please, but 
describe to me uh, the information you are attempting to recall about these foes. Uh, I'm looking at trying to figure out the spe spiritual or occultism uh, beings, how they came here, because they seem like they're a summoned creature, so I'm mm, using mm, occultism. Mm. So essentially, you want to you want to discern their nature, whether they are yeah. uh, controlled or independent creatures. Uh, and if it's, anything, I'm sorry. No, I was just gonna say, go ahead. Any anything further? If anything, I'm really trying to figure out why our. There we go. Say it. Attack our. There we or, go. Oh, I'm exactly what I'm just trying to use. Oh, one of my good. Uh, do you want that blind or public? I believe it is supposed to. Let's see. Let's look officially. Because, uh, you know, I've started to appreciate as we've become, or at least as this is the us DHB folks have become more uh, experienced, I've, I appreciate the blind role. Uh, no, it's not blind. It is. It is in the, in the open, and then you and you do it. So uh, now the DC for this will be. Uh, well, so you, you you'll have a gradient, uh, but your baseline DC is going to be twenty five. Okay. Nice. So Happy everything, baby. You uh, recall that sometime in your past uh, a village uh, in your you know vicinity where you were born and raised and represent uh, was mysteriously attacked and destroyed by such a creature and it became the obsession as a matter of fact of one of your you know uh, orc shaman witch doctor types and you recall that as he scoured the ancient mysteries of your people and heritage, uh, he hit upon a very rare type of incorporeal undead wraith creature, which is composed almost completely of a uh, cloud of living, choking fume and toxic smog. Uh, where these, you know, fetid creatures came from is not really known to anyone amongst your people. However, it is obvious that some sort of necromancy is involved in their lineage, creation, uh, perhaps even some wretched person when they die is, you know, cursed to roam the earth or, or Galarian as it were. In, in this form um, as to the implements that they employ uh, you are familiar that they typically absorb their victims into this living smog that they are composed of and just use them as essentially instruments of terror to then frighten further foes uh, they're not really a uh, you know, an implement of, of uh, offense, as it were. So, uh, beyond that, you know, getting into the meat of it, uh, you, you and your tribe were able to face one of these foes in mortal combat, and indeed, you have encountered this resistance to damage, and you are aware that it is essentially... A resistance to all damage doubled versus non magical damage. However, since this is an undead creature, uh, force, ghost touch, and positive damage will all penetrate these resistances and go right past them. You're further aware that as an incorporeal undead creature, you know, death effects, disease, paralysis, poison, uh, unconscious effects, these types of things are just useless because this creature neither lives nor breathes nor sleeps nor, you know, needs any of the 
typical senses that we all as uh, you know corporeal beings need uh, beyond that you know essentially through the histories of Galarian, the only place where you have learned anything about, you know, where they may have originated or come from is the horrible, terrific realm of Geb, where, of course, the most vile and powerful necromancy is practiced. Wait, aren't I from Geb? I don't know, are you? <laughs> Uh, I think I have that, like, the, I want to say it was Dark Seer and stuff. But I think you said I was from Geb because of that. I, th I thought it was the other one, Nex. Yeah. Oh, wait, Geb or Nex. I think I'm from some place not near. So no Shadow Tongue. Hmm. All right, so having discerned why this creature and what this creature is, what will you do now? Run, you say? Yep, I'm going to run all the way right in front of the decky and say, I, I thought we said run, and that's the end of my turn. Nice. <laughs> all right, so this smug creature having been accosted from down the hallway uh, now attempts to take a move towards that and he is also going to let's see I believe this is let me blind this Ooh, perfect alright uh, so this smug guy, I don't know why I think it's funny to say it like that. Uh, he's going to move one, two, three. He comes right to the door and is stopped by a guy in a duster with a funny looking sword. And you see a smog hand come out after you, one right after the other. And you experience what Vimgar just experienced. Dang, I didn't have you targeted. GG. Let's do that again with the flat checks. How long we've we been using Foundry? That's right. Okay. There we go. GG. So he connected and crit fumbled on you. I swear that die he's hit that other one so that was a melee attack uh, so somehow or another a corpse comes flying around in this mist and distracts him from hitting you and causes him to become deafened interesting the thing with no ears uh, what you mean? No ears, man. Who said it was didn't breathe or? It's incorporeal, but you could incorporate some ears out of smog. It's deaf, bro. Who knows? Oh, just go with it. Uh, your other attack uh, swings through the mist, but does not connect with anything. Its other attack? Or yes, its other attack. Excuse me. Apparently, I'm incorporeal. Let's see those damage resistances. So, it passes then to this guy who, uh, he struggles and strains, but he's calm now. Uh, and he looks at Krillin with puppy dog eyes and says, Will you protect me? <laughs> How do you respond to him, Krillin? I kiss him on the forehead. Yes, I will. Weird. Alright, so it passes the curve. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll head to the barricade and try to clear it. That a boy, you're pulling your in or owl. Uh, that's hype. That's 
Or... Yeah. Sure. All right, so you just moving over there, or are you crafting up yeah. some potions? Well, I'll try to clear this. Oh, it's not enough to impede you. It's just like some stuff was sitting there, like he was ready to, you know, if anything, it would be like one little smidge of, you know, okay, sim semi-difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a, anything that would stop you. Yeah. <clears throat> so you make your way up the hallway and recall that the room to the south, when you last were here, contained a summoning portal that had you battling some um, uh, yeah. otherworldly beings. It now seems to be well blocked up and almost caved in. Okay, good. Alright. So... This small wraith up here, uh, he kind of moves to the middle, and you begin to see, let's see here, you begin to see a swirling happening uh, around his, uh, around his person, and, let's see, uh, and a, uh, where's he at? Hold on. So I'm just gonna use this as a marker, but a uh spawn spins out of this guy and pops up right on his side. So this is not a full fledged uh, dude here. I'm gonna change him as we go forward. This is like a, you know, like a one-to-one -one if you're talking Magic the Gathering, right? Like a, a token. Uh, so. Yeah, it's a Magic thing, right? There's a token. I play kind of Magic. Thing. It will be a one-one. Yes, yeah, what did I say? One-two-one. One. Oh, well, that's what I meant. Jeez. Jeez. This guy's trying to die right now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys are unsure of, you know, what this uh, small great spawn seems to be all about, but for now it seems to just be sitting there inert. Uh, Let's see here. I'm gonna take off his because it's not a real thing. <laughs> Logan, that's what I was thinking. Except I was gonna say it out loud, but you beat me to it. <laughs> you can still say it. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> All right, so he has. Oh yeah, he has the effects because he's in it, just like these guys. Uh, but oh, wait, their own clouds are working against each other. Well, he's. I mean, yeah, they're just in it. Everything, everything in the small cloud is concealed, right? All right, there well, we go. I got him named appropriately. Uh, so for now he's gonna he's gonna enter this, but he is not like he's just connected to this guy. So where'd he go? He's just connected with this guy, so they're gonna share their same one. Um, f for now, uh, he <laughs> begins to just dissipate, and you feel that he is moving through the room. But you don't see where. And let's see. Uh, uh, so you guys feel a little, feel a chill in the air as this room begins to slowly fill up with more smoke, and right on the table above this half-built clockwork thing. Uh, you see the the mist, the smog, like reform, and uh, this guy uh, once again uh, shows up to ruin your day. Uh, he has no more actions with to attack you though, so he's just sitting there chilling, waiting for y'all. And Hideki, you are now confronted with the other small wraith right in front of you. Okay. I'm going 
gonna sheave my long rifle for my first action. Okay. Going to uh, apparently my sword was somehow already out, but going to quick draw, which will let me attack while uh, trying to hit the smog thing in front of me. Did I roll with a... Oh, wait, no. Dang. Okay, I will attack again with a map. Hmm. So you swing into the mist, uh, but you do not connect with anything other than your own ineptitude. Saren. <laughs> okay. Are we uh, looking to move into another room, or are we going to fight this thing? Am I muted? You guys hear me? No, we can hear you. Well, what do you think? Um, well, this, uh, Lyle said to, to go into the laboratory, so I don't know if there's any merit to what he said or if he's just freaking out. So he's been always saying go to the laboratory. He has traps set up there. I, I think that's a good idea to, to head there then. Okay, and all the debris is cleared. Yes, it was only, uh, you know, a small smattering of, uh, let's see, where you got, where are you exactly at? Oh, you're still somewhere there. Yeah, so this right here is non-consequential for sure. It's all like, so because think about it like this, right? So he was wanting to get all up in there and had started to make some preparations, but then you guys decided, you know, no, we're not going to do that. And so it's kind of like, you know, the materials are there, but nobody finished the job. Kind of a thing. Alright, so that's 70 feet right on top here, and I'll continue all the way. I'll be right back. I got a number two, so just control make everything. Wow. Happening. You could have saved Didn't, anything else. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> way oversharing there. <laughs> you can't see anything over here. So that's 95, 100. We should have a 30, 60, 90, 105 feet. So right there. All right. That's all three of my actions. All right. You notice again as you come to this, you know, sort of the end of this hallway. You notice that there is a distinct smell in the air that you recognize as a chemical you have encountered before it is the smell of lyserium which is of course Shoma's attempt at recreating the destructive power of pyronite you're unsure at this point whether this is you know is this residual from you know Shoma had quite a bit of it last time you were here or is there something else going on? Drez. Not that it matters right now, but with my low light vision, should I be able to see anything or? Oh, uh, let's see. Is it completely dark for you? Let's we'll see. Yeah. Well, low light vision is just like your immediate area, but it shouldn't be totally dark back there. Hold on. Lights. I guess, you, I guess you just don't see this one yet because you're not close enough. Let's see. RX activation range. Low 
light. I'm not far, not close enough to it, probably. Well, no, this one's around the corner, but it's also. It's got a weird thing on it here. Uh, but we're going to put one right here to make sure. Hold on. But yeah, there is definitely no light in this hallway, but what is the low light vision is what? Five, five bright, ten dim or something like that? I mean, Foundry's probably not doing it right. That's, would be my guess. Because I see there's only like a little bubble around you. Uh, low light vision. Can see in dim light as though it were bright. So it's yeah, so it's doing the right thing because it's not yeah, dim right now. It's pitch black. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if it was dim, you'd see like it was dark vision, right? You uh, do you see grace? Yeah. No, you see as though it were bright, so you should see in color if it was dim light. Yeah. But there's no yeah. light. Yeah. yeah. It's, so it's right. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Krillin doos on himself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Krillin struggles and grunts. He's holding Cogsmith. What, what do you guys want him to do? Wait, wait, wait. If I was still not mistaken, he did kiss. Krillin did kiss him on the forehead already. He did, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to say that with all this love and intense that he can pull Oh, up, God. This guy's been playing Baldur's Gate 3. Watch out. <laughs> No, trust me, I will not put you through that. I have already been through that. I will not put you through that. Um, I will tell you after 10 p.m. Because sorry, fair, it's 18 plus. Fair, fair enough. Oh, I played. I know. You see, there <laughs> no, was there bad. was this ogre in a shed. Uh, he's going to say, uh, "I'm going to let you go. Let's go," and let him go and. Okay. Tell him, to, tell him to get to the lab and like shove him down the hallway. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. At least shove him away so that he just he can't run behind him. And then, All right. Yeah. Uh, so he gladly runs down the hallway here. Let's see what is his actual. Well, we'll just give him to the end of the hallway here, right? Because it's not actually yeah. his turn. So he huffs and puffs into the darkness, and Krillin no longer sees him, or barely sees him towards the end of the hall. Uh, yeah. So one one action just to like release him, sure. Yep. Uh, next action, next two actions, run fast as he can. So I would point out because because he knows this and would probably make use of it, and if he doesn't just pop right back. So, key strike. You can make oh, it be. Uh, you can make it be force, yes, or positive. Oh, okay. You can do either then one. Then yeah. Well, since then he's yeah. Here, he stays and stays in bangs. Yeah, uh, he, I mean, he attack. I would assume that's what he would want to do. If so, you can do that, yeah, he attack. Uh, should we just should you just do a straight on flurry? He's already oh, yes, he's already in some stance here. Uh, if you're entangled, forest, reach it tries to. Oh, what the hell? Uh, heck, every enemy in your reach that tries to move away, you must proceed. We have. I don't think we've been doing that. I believe you said that this thing, uh, since it has no legs and arms... Oh, yeah, that's just because I like to fuck with him on the tripping. But, like, <laughs> just in general, I don't think we've been doing... You reading that tool set? While you're in forest yeah. stance, you can act, and everybody's got to... Not everybody, but enemies got to succeed on basically a check to get away, or they're immobilized. Like, roots come up and grab them. We've done it a couple of times. I think last session we totally forgot about it. I mean, it's his preference, so maybe he's just not wanting to do it because it wouldn't serve. Anyway, so... Well, I've been running his character for the past couple, I think, too. Fair enough. Uh, so I think he's got to do the key strike as an action and then can do the flurry. I believe that's how it works. 
Or is the key strike one thing? Let's see here. God, now I don't know. Okay, so key strike is one action. Yes. Yeah, and then flurry of blows is one action, but two attacks. Granted by a So it's a focus. So he's got to have. So ooh, I don't know. Does he want to use this focus? Now, now I'm yes. choice paralyzed. <laughs> he's not here yet. All right. I don't if we're taking too long of a shit. Yep. Okay, so there he goes. He's going to key strike and positive, yes. Or y'all yep. want to do four. So, I mean, I guess six of one and half dozen of the other. Fours. Fours. All right, so... So he could do a flurry, yeah. Yeah, he could still do a flurry with it. So here we go, flurry. Uh, which is... Three? Is it three? Or two? Two. No, two Jeez, two. why don't I remember that? It's just two. Okay, two on our strikes. Okay. But he can use... I think he can still use his staff because of some other feet. Yeah. Is that right? You remember that? I mean, yeah. this, this the ace. That's his little re-archetype thing. All right. Jeez, let me not... Of course the flat chink's going to fail. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so that utter skill issue, Vimgard. <laughs> Don't tell him; he could just read the nope. chat. <laughs> now, you did real good, man. <laughs> Save him. Right. That's one action. Second action is I'm going to puke all over. Actually, sorry. This rent. is my two actions, but I'm going to do it all at once because I'm going to puke all over Krillin because he's in my way. And I'm going to try and get rid of my sickening condition. All right. Well, I run. Well, Five. Go ahead and wrench. It's fortitude. Alright, GG, easy. Done. And then you moved to here? Yeah, and that's the end of my turn. Uh, well, not wanting to, uh, give up the fight here. This thing just lashes out at you full bore, man. It said, you want these hands? So, three attempts successfully find you. One of them critically hits you. One of them just regularly hits you. The last one, however, you somehow miss in your delirious state. Uh, and you suffer quite a bit of damage that leaves you reeling and almost on the mat. Uh, Cogsworth continues towards his lab with expedient haste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. As he gets into the lab, you hear him cackling. <laughs> yes, oh yes. Yes, it's perfectly prepared. Gurn. Uh. That cackle kind of. Like. Diabolical? Or. Like uh, I mean, this guy is just kind of diabolical, you know? So. It was. It was. In in character for him it, it didn't seem I guess maybe a more pedestrian laugh would have been more disturbing is what I'm getting at okay 
as you step into this room, you notice it seems largely unchanged from the last time you were here and you battled Shoma. There are scorch marks where, you know, the Lazarium had been hidden around the room, indicating that at some point it was maybe abandoned until it became unstable. Um, you see that Cogsworth here has stopped just beyond uh, the the trappings that were laid out to make a for a, a barricade and he is just eyeballing this big old beautiful tank of what appears to be newly brewed lyserium which you as uh, an adept alchemist are able to you know, easily discern by sight and smell Uh, well, uh, you also just uh, again because of your you know innate alchemical knowledge, uh, easily and immediately recognize that the amount of lyserium presented here in this uh, you know cauldron tank, as it were, uh, seems to be enough to not only take care of these smog wraiths, but any other kind of wraith within, you know, a good distance. So probably best not right, to well, probably best not to light up your stogies right now. <laughs> uh, what's what's your plan with this here, Cogsworth, Cogsmith? Um, he turns to you and gives you a very just mad look, a gleam in his eyes, and he says one word: defense. Against smoke, with the smog. No, oh, he's just kind of like got a thousand yard stare. As he, you know, he's just nodding at you now. All right. So, uh, is that your whole movement to get in there, or yeah, get more? Okay. It moves back to this guy on the table who uh, moves down and triggers a reaction uh, from Krillin if he can hit hard enough. Indeed, he hits this guy. Wait a minute, I have Vimgar targeting. He hits Vimgar? No. Uh, it is a hit on this guy, though, a regular one. And he swings, and with all of his might, catches this cloud man. Uh, but most of the damage is absorbed, however, one damage is taken. So, this creature having moved then brings these hands. Let's untarget. I'm back. Just in time. So, you have misty hands, smoggy hands coming all around you, but you are able to avoid uh, any ill effects. Hideki. Uh, once again, this little wraith is just kind of existing where it spawned out and it's not really moving or doing anything. It's just kind of, uh, Hideki sees it here just kind of warbling back and forth like a, uh, weeble wobble. Wait, when did I go down to seven? When you got crit and then also hit last turn, last round. I not remember that. All right. Uh, Looks like Mary thought it'd be easier to kill you at ten o'clock. I I mean I miscalculated a bit because he does still have seven. But apparently he wasn't paying attention, yeah. so I could have just said, "Oh, you trip." <laughs> you step on a nail, seven damage. <laughs> it has tetanus. You're dead. <laughs> want rid of me that bad at least give me the chance to take something with me 
trying to help you out, man. You're to help you to get your homework done and get to sleep on time, so you, you know. I didn't have to then. So, but... Oh, let's see. What is my... My feet. You, right. you reach right. into your jacket, produce a small metal orb, and you say to the party, This is a thermal detonator. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Well, unless I randomly perhaps have sticks of pyronite, uh... I am going to use my remaining two actions to run. Fair enough. Away. Alright, having run away successfully back near the lab, uh, Saren. Will you turn the corner here and sh shed some light on the situation? Yeah, I'm just running down a... aimlessly down the black hallway and I have no idea where I am. Boom! You see the uh, faint glow coming from the lab and you too, as you enter, uh, recognize these premises as essentially unchanged except for some large scorch marks and the hack need reinstallation of the Lazarium apparatus that Shoma had and you you also even without you know extensive alchemical knowledge recognize that this is a hazard of some proportion well, I will use one action to get to where I'm at I guess I better reload and then well, I'll move again and prepare for him to get here. There, that's the end of my second boring turn. Alright. Hope it pays off. Goes to Drez. That's one action. And I'm going to move over here and hide. Alright, fair enough. Uh, Krillin, everyone has been completely inspired by your duke and he gets a hero point <laughs> <laughs> nice um we're just running right so last turn to recap for you we decided that it would be a great time to key strike and we totally missed <laughs> Jeez. sorry and you also let go of dude and told him to go take it to the lab so he right. ran um I guess I'm gonna head to the lab. Uh, my speed again. I think I'm at 45 speed here. Yeah, 45. 40, 45. I'm gonna move to here. Uh, well, I guess I. Sh so it's dark in this hallway, right? Yes, it is dark. Yep. Uh, but you, you, you can sense that. You know, to the south is, you know, you recall and remember, but you also sense in the darkness right. that the to the south is just a small little passage that goes to the portal room to the north is where you want to go. Yeah. And then to the uh, west, which is probably like fucking south or something because, you know, the crazy compass. But Okay, I use all three actions to head into the, the lab. All right. You two are confronted with the waft and strong stench of what can only be recently brewed 
uh, Lazarium and also recognize this room is essentially unchanged other than the scorch marks and of course there's <laughs> there's not a huge clockwork golem here uh, this right. time the statue of Shoma eerily remains on the pedestal where you last confronted him is that your all your actions to get in there or you got one more I used all three yep all right, so you retreat on into there, Vimgard. Back in right. the hallway here. What will you do? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 3 Okay, you can see into the lab and you also smell now the Lazarium as everyone else does. Um, this smooth wraith here, he disapparates and you sense that he's moving. And somewhere, J.K. Rowling's lawyers are filing a cease and desist against you. <laughs> Bring it on. Uh, let's see. So this uh, this trans small wraith disapparates. <laughs> oh, now she's really angry. <laughs> Thank you. She's Thank on her you. way to your house right now. Thank you. I'll be here all week. If you say it disapparates gaily, then uh, she won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's see. Huh. Well, uh, so, to your horror, right in front of you, this thing pops up, and a hand whips out at you, only once. Sheesh. But, although, although it comes with critical force in the darkness, you are able to duck at the last minute, and it does not connect with you. Alright, so uh, Lyle here just goes cackling mad and he runs over to these tanks and he begins like fiddling with hoses uh, and like messing with stuff and he, he's kind of in a frenzy, just shouting, ah, oh, ah, oh, well, final preparations, final preparations. He runs over to the table here, uh, and you see him pick up what seems to be some kind of, like, fuse-looking material, and he begins, like, furiously twisting it together. Um, Wait, is he gonna blow the place? Uh, Gurn. Oh, boy. Yeah, can I do, uh, some kind of check here to see if what he's doing is on the level? Sense motive. Yeah, you could sense his motive, uh... Has anybody tried asking him what he's doing? Or or ask him, or just... Or just well, I, did, I did, and he just kind of... Yeah, he kind of went a little nuts. But, uh, or you could obviously, the tried and true, just look at him perception-wise and, you know, see if you can discern what he is doing. Uh, so, you know, he's got his back to you, so you're not quite able to see, but through glimpses of how he's kind of, like, moving about... Uh, and the material that he's kind of twining together uh, again your extensive alchemical knowledge benefits you here and you recognize that he is he is making a fuse for a detonation purpose uh, you plan to go out with this explosion uh, he, he, he you speak at him but he doesn't seem to even He's uh, just in the zone here trying to furiously create this. I mean, obviously, he feels, you know, the pressure's coming in, right? So you, you say that to him as a just a free action, but he just doesn't even acknowledge you. I glance okay. across the room at you and motion my thumb across my neck and then do a shrug my shoulders. Nice. Okay, uh... What can I position myself to shadow him and 
grab him if he's gonna set this thing off, Bronto? Uh, yeah. Are you just gonna like? Are you like? Are real. you like crouching behind him? Like? <laughs> well, yeah. just kind of be within arm's reach. Sure. The, so you kind of, you kind of, how about this? You kind of, yeah, you kind of sidle up to him, right? You're kind of like looking over, and I mean, he's in such a frenzy, he's he just doesn't notice you at all. So you're not impeded by him in, in any way. Is that it? That's you. Yeah. Okay. Two actions left. You could always ready Thank an you. action. You do, yeah. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I'm doing then, I guess. Well, that's, yeah, he's saying he's like, boom. All right, so this guy all the way back in this hallway then, uh, again, gaily disapparates. And to all of your horror, the mist fills this room, and it appears right here in the middle. And almost exhausted, it manages one hand out. Oh shoot, I had two people to... No, I just had... Okay. So, although it finds you in its own mist, the hit misses. And it is on to you, young sir. Are you still here? We got one more. Yep. Uh, don't, get, there, don't get grounded now. Is there any place? <clears throat> Run back in the other room and hide in the chest. Say so we done been through that. Get grounded at raid time. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> did, that, did that happen to Morver? Yeah. He got grounded for like what, a week for punching his sister? <laughs> no, no, but like right before the raid time. Yeah, and he's our main tank. Was I don't remember if it was right before raid time or if it was, you know, he, he had some advance notice, but he, he told us raid. pretty close to it. Okay. Just, let's not derail, sorry. Never living that it was seventeen years, sixteen years. That's been about seventeen now, yeah. Bro. <laughs> Alright, sorry, bro. Hideki, your time. Go. You moving away from this guy, I presume? Yeah, I'm going to. Let's see, if I move, he gets an attack opportunity, so step. No, you can and move. Um, you've, you've seen us all move away from him, and he's never an attack of opportunity to anybody, so I. Yeah, this is gonna be the one time he does. The yeah, game. I'm. I'm sure Mary was just saving it for right now. So I'm gonna step, move twenty-five feet, and then use a healing potion. All right, you guzzle that down, and are healed for. 21 points of damage. <coughs> but, oh no, it was expired. You didn't check the label. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> recalled for salmonella poisoning. Yeah. Oh, recalled for anthrax or something just so he can make sure to kill me. Oh, wait. I'm not allowed to do that, aren't I? Because I'm sick and. Uh, no, you, your status penalty is on, uh, checks and stuff. So, I mean, to drink a potion is not a, you just drink it. You can't willingly ingest anything, including elixirs and potions while sickened. Oh, I didn't see that, yeah. So, you would have to retch first. Darn it. Okay, take away the 21. Anybody got a stick of pyronite they can hand me? I got a new action plan. Well, and yeah, let me put your potion back too. Cause you Are you about to kamikaze yourself? Uh, potentially. But you could Just still use a. Uh, you could still. Do you have battle medicine? No. Uh. Mm. 
you know, say you could still medicine yourself, but not in combat unless that, obviously. So does anybody have pyronite? Nope. Where should I give him mine back when we had the... the I feel like they don't trust me with pyronite. It's fair. <laughs> they don't trust you with it. it. It's a good call. All I would right. not trust him with it. Let's see. How do I do the thing to get rid of sickened? Uh, so you a fortitude roll. Ooh, just made it, and you wretch. And get rid of only one level of it, though. Sorry. Oh wait, you get a you got juggernaut, so yeah, it yeah. actually takes two. Yep. You juggernaut vomit. <laughs> and I think that's. That wasn't a sound effect. That was just me sitting up straight. <laughs> Might need an x-ray. I think you cracked a rib. At, at least. I'm telling you, man. This is the stupidest thing that's ever happened to me. Besides when I, like, broke my foot or whatever getting up off the toilet a couple of years ago. I mean, it's only going to get worse from here. I'm telling you, bro. Ah, uh, Saren, speaking of getting worse. Ah, uh, I got you guys. What's up? What you doing? You, I believe, loaded your gun in this room and are ready to get the party started. Yeah. Well, I believe I can use both of those things now. I'm going to use Sniper's Aim and Unbelievable Luck on this one. <coughs> we'll roll the attack twice and take and the damage, I guess. So this is this shot is just using all your actions or two actions? Yeah, this will use all three. Gotcha. But I get to roll it twice <laughs> and the damage twice and take the higher for both. I don't know how to fucking turn the other one on. There's a turn on unbelievable luck, I'm not sure. I think we did this before and yeah. you just do it twice. Right. right? I mean, that's, right. yeah. It's the easiest way to do it. Okay, here we go. So. Oh, no, that was the one. Try a second shot. Concealment should be ignored for both of those. Alright, so either one's a hit. I really, really need that crit. Alright, so. Your round flies through the air and makes contact with this creature, and you notice that once again the, you know, the mist kind of just disappears right in front of most of it uh, but it does sustain three damage from your hit you also notice that uh, as the bullet you know gets closer and passes through it you know even though it did some damage it essentially just passed all the way through and hit this wall and as it passed by right around here sparks and sizzles kind of started popping on these little you know, droplets of lazarium that seem to be spilled very carelessly all over the place. None of them lit up, sustained, but they are definitely very volatile to temperature changes, heat and such. Seems like. Drizz. 
Okay, I should be able to get right here in one action, theoretically rendering Toxic Avenger right here flat footed. Oh. In indeed, it does. I believe that can never really be ignored unless a specific circumstance exists. Wow. Screw you, Toxic Avenger. Hero point. I need a hero point. Wow, get wrecked. Okay, so I would like to uh, use magical powers to take the first damage and the second flat check, please. Thank you. Hero point. Now, hold on to this. That's my three. All right, an impressive feat of strength, Krillin. Well, the song too. I uh, played that on the weekend and got dirty looks from everybody. What? I need a hero by yeah. Linda Ronstadt. I oh, requested yeah. it. <laughs> wow. I don't know, it was That's, like some epic moment. How Canadian. How Canadian uh, of I you I just guys. lost all respect I had for either of you. How <laughs> Canadian of you guys. I, he was asking for like a heroic song. I'm like, yeah, I'll play that one. <laughs> Should have played that WAP. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, oh, what you should have played was Ben Shapiro reading the lyrics. <laughs> that, that is the opposite of heroic. All right. So, um, do I talk to, try and talk, uh, talk to this guy, or what, what? The mist monster? No, no, the, uh, the dude. I mean, Wild. so, so, here's, here's my thinking. Uh, you can do force damage, right? Yeah. And we've got the mist monster flat-footed right now, so my vote would be to oh, just sorry, punch um, the I out I can't do force damage, or well, that was only with the key strike. Oh, okay, never mind then. Can you do a key strike right now, or no? I have no more focus points. I only had the one. Oh, shit. That's what I was saying to you guys. We shouldn't have done it because it was his only one. <laughs> I don't remember that happening. Okay, uh, sorry, continue. Ch uh, Chesty, what were you saying? Uh, I, was, I was just going to say, you know, assuming you could do force damage, I'd say hit him really hard right now. But if not, you know, just do whatever. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna go up to Lyle and I'm gonna uh, ask him, um, "Hey, Lyle, what's going on here, man? Wait, what are you trying to do?" Uh, oh, sorry, I was looking at something here. I mean, there's some people that homebrew like you can burn a hero point to get a focus point. Which, I mean, if we adopt that as a group, I don't care. That seems fair enough. Anyway, just was you just know. was Googling if anybody else did that or there was any kind of consensus. Uh, I guess some people might call it a variant that allow... Oh, yeah. there's a, Some people have a variant that gives a feed. And there's all kinds of ways people substitute hero points for focus points fyi i don't know i'm not just want to just drop that on you guys it's kind of a bigger change you know what i mean if you open up your focus point pool to your hero point pool but you know obviously in this situation it would be advantageous but uh you know think about it maybe five seconds and you know, i don't know we might adopt that kind of rule anyway sorry what would you just say I'm um, trying to ask Lyle um, if he can tell me what he's planning on doing. Okay, uh, how do you approach him? You like tap him or shoulder, or you just talk to him, or because he's uh, he's very busy, like twisted and making. I, I calmly put my hand on his shoulder. All right. Just to to um, present my presence, I guess. So. Okay. I mean, he stops for a moment and turns to you, and you say, "What hey, are you Lyle, doing?" Um, what what are you trying to do here? What's what's with all the panicking and setup? Uh, he just kind of frantically tells you, "Help me, help me twist. We have to detonate, detonate." And he just keeps saying, "Detonate, detonate." I, I ask him, "Will will this um destroy us? Will this blow us up?" 
uh, he he kind of doesn't seem to like register what you're saying, and he just tells you this will set us all free. Oh. Okay. Um. Awesome. So um. Can I, I, I kind of want to see what he, <laughs> I kind of want to see what he does to be honest. Yeah. You, okay, you, so, you could totally you could totally knock him out. Yeah, certainly. So, so so we let him do what he's doing, or up to you, man. I I can go either way. I'm kind of curious to see what happens. To be honest, <laughs> I'm as far away as I possibly can be. So. Okay. You want to. okay, I'm gonna help him. Uh, Mary, can I aid him somehow? Like, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, how do you, you tell me? How you want? You want to just help him start twisting? Yeah, I'll, I'll help him start twisting. I don't know if you want to roll for that or. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, oh, excuse, sorry. Yeah, oh. we want to see. I mean, we want to see if it's like you know. Athletics or what? I'll give you athletics, yeah, because we'll see how, you know to what degree you help his. Yeah, all right. So yeah, you definitely do help him, and now his uh, the twisting is is speeding up. So seems to be about you know, halfway now that he was managed to get to almost by himself, uh, and now is moving about twice as fast. All right. So was me talking to him one action, or was that a free action? I'll just talking to him was free, sure. Okay, so I have I have another action. Um, can I continue twisting for my third action? Yeah, you wanna uh just I mean you wanna crafting check. Oh. You wanna yeah, I was gonna say do you wanna do any kind of different thing or I don't know. You just told All me right. to help him twist. Well, I'm just gonna uh, keep twisting. so you you grab a hold of the end and you start like really getting this thing moving and you you cover half the you know space that he already did so now this thing is about three quarters of the way completed and he is happy he is like yes yes he's nodding his head as he's weaving these fibers in and out and treating them with various things to essentially make them you know burn correctly and he is very pleased uh, Vim, okay. Vimgard then yes that's you yes I mean, that's all for uh, you, yeah. Krillin? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So, Vimgar, you are now in this room, or are you? You're I'm right coming at the in home. right now. I'm going to move right here. Come on. Too small. And I am going to do a spell strike on him. Yeah. Yep. Oh. I see that way up there. So you come in summoning your gods and you swing down a mighty spell strike. Yep. And give him blinding foam. Uh, was that your damage already? Did it auto roll it? It auto rolled the damage for the magic. So then I st uh, damage roll. Okay, there. But it ro So did you roll the damage for your weapon, or did it auto roll that too? No, it did not roll my damage. Or wait, no. It, it did. It did. Uh, the thirty-two. The thirty-two is my damage for my ha axe, and then the seventeen. That's what I'm saying. It did. Magic. It did all of that auto, right? When you did a spell strike yep. macro. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I did it's, it properly. Yeah. I did it properly. No, that's I did good. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, let's resolve. So you swing down on this bad boy, 
and what's your critical specialization? Uh, nothing adjacent to it, so we're good. Yeah. All right, so you swing down on this guy, and you do a mighty blow that although it does not do the full damage, it does 22 damage to this creature. Uh, your spell likewise comes in and sprays acid all amongst these corpses and smogs and various things and it does seven more damage to this thing whoa that's not right there we go uh, likewise your blinding foam do you want to click the the tip right there the tool tip and there's some other stuff the damage uh you spray colorful because what was it what, what was your spell strike was it blinding phone yeah okay so then he's he's blinded then. Two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. never mind that's me putting that on there and me putting this on here there he goes all right so you walloped this thing Mighty, mighty. Uh, you have two remaining, or one where you moved in, right? No, uh, that's everything. Special right was me. two. Right. Yeah. Was that your recharging one, or was it because that spell nope. is two? Uh, spell strikes always two. Uh, next turn I have to recharge, and I'll do that through a focus but I, spell. I, did, I, I thought we figured out it's not it's if you do a level like one spell is it not just one action i thought we figured that out before it should always be two actions you're doing an attack and a spell at the exact same time more or less okay but i mean you can pick level one or two spells yeah, yeah. So oh yeah mean? yeah you can pick them but it's always going to be a two action to do the whole maneuver gotcha all right well then what's the recharging strike with it is that like an extra thing you gotta do on top of it or with it yeah like you always have it ready at combat but you have to take an action to recharge it so you can do your spell strike Fair that's enough. the only verbal thing that gotcha. I wish we could try and do, keep track but it. yeah alright so this fella here uh, begins wafting. Up the hallway, uh, and finds Mr. Hideki here, and attempts to smack him in his absence. Ooh, -hoo. not good for him. Uh, he is knocked all the way down and having been turned to dying a wounded one uh, this thing continues past him and joins its companion here now this one here well, he would no longer be flat footed right even though Vimgard is adjacent to him yeah, because we're not on opposite sides. Yeah, fair enough. I don't think that... Right, took my spot. You too, man. Uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy that much. Alright, so... Alright, so, Lyle's here. Uh, twist, 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 twist on his turn, and the fuse now finished uh, he steps over to this barrel and he announces proudly to all of you as he's shoving this thing down into this barrel that uh, if if he's going down they are all going to go down with him and he cackles maniacally as he is now you know shoving this thing in here uh, uh, you all reckon? Huh? I'll try to interrupt that. The uh, well, you're a good five feet or so away from him. So you, what are you gonna throw something at him, or what are you gonna do? 
Can I use, can I use um... Did he move to the... He Technically, he moved away from me, right? No, he didn't. Fuck. I guess I can't use my... He's mm. not an enemy to you, though. At least, uh... He's about to blow us up, so... <laughs> right, but he's not a... He hasn't... Technically, yeah, I guess... He's not hostile to you that. guys. Yeah. I mean, you could, uh... I guess you, would have, you yeah. could still react to things, even if they're not hostile to you, but... But yes, he has not. He has not necessarily been hostile to you guys. He's not been exactly cooperative, but he's not been hostile either. Of course, this does seem a little hostile. But yeah, so you guys, what you, what's up? You you trying to do anything to him? He's just trying to react to what he's doing, or? Yeah, I'll, I'll shoot him with the bow. You're gonna fucking blow us all up here. Let's see here. Uh, creature within your reach uses a move action or leaves a square during a move action it's using. So I could use that reaction if it's allowed. Oh, you strike out when your foe tries to flee. Uh, it's not gonna work because he's not hostile, right? I mean, so he's, he's not. He's not friendly but I mean foe foe meaning I mean you designate your foe right true I mean yeah okay um yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that reaction it'll be like Lyle you're crazy dude what are you doing we don't want to die then I, then I smack him with my stick all right and are you also at the same time shooting shooting your bow uh, uh gurn yeah let's, let's see All right, so as he is stuffing this thing in, you say that to him, Krillin, and you smack him in the back of the head with a stick, and an arrow equally comes flying in and hits him in the buttocks. Uh, but he is in a mad frenzy and does not cease what he's doing. He is just shoving that thing on in there. That's what she said. Gurn. Did he uh, run? Shoving that thing in there. Well, can I run up to him and... I don't know, grapple? Sure. Prevent. I believe if you if you have it, yeah, there you go. Those tooltips right there will let you do it. No. No. So you grab a hold of him and you attempt to uh, get him, but. Uh, He's, he's, he just kind of wriggles away from you. Again, he's just in a, like, you know, he's focused, right? Focused frenzy here. He's just frantically trying to get that thing to, uh, to work. Or to, you know, get in there. So that's... Attack if I strike at the bows out of the map? Yes, it would yeah. be. Oh. 
There you go. Oh, no. Alrighty then. Uh, so your arrow uh, uh, flies past him with vigor and lands in one of these Lyserium bats and quickly just dissolves. Uh, at the top of this round, you guys want to take like 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes. My cup runneth yep. empty. And we ha I didn't want to take a break before he left since he's only got an hour, you know. Yep. So, I agree. let's take a little break right here. Re-up your drinks, your smokes, your mental vibes. BRB, just a moment. back I'm here. do does Canada have a strong retail arbitrage to Amazon scene you know what I'm talking about like buying stuff at the grocery store and then go sell it to somebody for like uh, four times what you paid for it 
I've heard of people doing doing um doing that, but from like the like the China sites. Yeah, there's these. Uh, I just thought of it because there's these drink packets, right? That I've gotten into. You can buy like it's basically an energy drink, but you know, probably better for you. You know, let's not say healthy because it's still you know caffeine, probably more than yeah. you should take. But uh, you know, you pour them in a bottle of water, right? Like any of the other drink mixes, yeah. And it, I mean, it hits like an energy. Kind of, kind of like a G fuel, but I'm talking about this is Walmart brand, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's like a dollar fifty for tw- like twelve of them in a box, right? Yeah. People sell these motherfuckers like fifteen dollars, dude, on Amazon. <laughs> Because people can be bothered to check Walmart or Well, because like. think about it, though, right? A dollar an energy drink, even if you throw in a bottle of water for 50 cents or another dollar, two dollars for energy drink, that's a deal, bro. Energy drink yeah. four or five dollars, man. So, it's just it's just so funny to me that, yeah, people... I mean, I can't imagine where you... I mean, there's some places that I guess don't have a Walmart. I don't know, bro. And you don't have the internet to go to walmart.com. You're on Amazon. I don't get it, bro. I should be hustling. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> we all here? Yeah. I see Sarah muted. You here, bro? Shoot your gun if you're here. Yep, I'm right, here. Cool. All right, so top of this round, things are getting eerie as this thing turns its ire to the presumed north and a hand comes flying out in your direction Drez not to be outdone not to be outdone Uh, another hand comes flying out in the opposite direction not opposite, but you know what I'm saying. A different one. Diagonally adjacent. Fuck. <laughs> Take the mods off. Holy shit. Well, good roll. But shit. Okay, so y'all. Um. This hand is bigger and blacker than the other one. <laughs> that was mean. Uh, so it comes out bigger and greener, I should say, than the other one. And it comes out just a... Ooh, what would that be? I mean, it's a, it's a hand, but it's not bludgeoning. It's all poison damage, right? Mm. Mm. Let's see here. Ooh, I mean it's a it's a brute. It, it's finesse, so I could see it being slashing. I mean, fucking hell, dude! Do you see it right? You see all three of them, right? What it says in the first part of all three of them. No. uh can y'all... This is the one that you don't let us see it. Okay, well, I'll show you this one because uh, uh, we got to resolve this, I guess. Let's see. Do oh. y- did y'all see it now or no? Hold on, let me fix this for once. Once and for all. Uh, all players, owner. There's Somehow it got duplicated in this game. So yeah, everybody should be an owner. Y'all don't y'all can't see it? Let's see. Sure enough. Hold on. Technical difficulty. Let me fix it. Uh, rollable tables. That's what it was. I had the visibility off, I think, was the problem. No? Shit. I can't see Saren's or Dress's uh, character sheets whatsoever. It just gives them a bio and a journal effect and conditions. 
They're very mysterious people. Well, that's, yeah, that just has to do with the permissions. Well, so anyway, so whatever kind of melee damage, if we wanted to call this a melee attack, uh, every one of them is triple damage. Oh. So that means he, he just hit you for... What is the rule on getting hit for, Ma like, over damage? Do you guys know what it's called? Massive, Massive damage. damage. Massive Every damage. Couple, hit, couple of the uh, max hit points is an instant death. Massive damage. You die instantly if you ever take damage equal to or greater than double. So that's not what happened. It's just a big honking hit then? Let's see. What's related to mass? So it's, I mean, it's not that big, I guess. Let's see here. Let's see. Hit points. Taking damage while dying. Conditions. Just want to make sure I'm being fair on this. So. Okay, so I don't, I don't think. Current hit points, okay. I don't think taking over damage like that is going to do anything. And not like in D&D &D where it's, doesn't it have an effect when you take over damage. Yeah. And I believe in 1E too, if you okay. take enough, it you, puts you roll your con or something you yeah. can immediately I think chain. I think this is what I was remembering it's a it's a crit that put him down so that means you're a dying too I, yeah. I think maybe that's what I was sniffing around uh but do you not have your orc thing what's your orc thing is that a, correct uh, yeah, I have Orc Ferocity. Which lets you defy death, is this correct? Yeah, I go to one hit point. And, and yeah, everything for death. Goes to, uh, dying one or something. Oh, I get one. Once per day, you reduce a hero. You would be reduced to zero hit points, but not immediately cured, killed. Yes, you go to one and your wounded condition increases by one. So, I'm assuming you want to engage that? Yes, yes I do. Okay. Fair enough. So you then uh, just are wounded one and still on your feet, sir. Uh, you are not prone. There we go. Fix that. Um, this thing, having been very pleased with its results here, uh, moves away triggering reactions because he steps over here by Krillin. Are you going to react? Do you have reaction? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Let's see it. Roll your damage. Alright, you do seven damage to this thing. And you can tell that you did because you have been battling it for a moment now. Uh, once again, it's it's spawned uh, is uh, you know, obviously not really a factor in this battle, but you can kind of feel through the shifting in the air that it seems to be moving closer. All right, and. With that, it is the young Hideki. What do you guys want him to do? He is up here in this hallway still. Did someone do a seek? Maybe there's an invisible entity controlling these guys. Well, I believe I believe on his knowledge check, he determined that these are uh, wraiths, which are you know they're inde yeah. they're independent. That they, they may be conjured or like summoned, if you will, is a better word. But they're typically not yet yeah, not controlled. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and for remember for remembering that 
critical recall knowledge feat. You all are inspired and get a hero point. All right. Okay. Yes, um, what were you saying? Isn't Hideki me do the death saving throws right now because he's dead? Uh, is he? Or dying? Oh, sure enough. Thank you, sir. So, yes, young young Hideki is uh, here dying. And so it's a flat 20 with, what, DC 11, yes? Yeah. Godspeed. Plus the wounded condition or something? I think the dying. Yeah, I think it's plus 10 plus your wounded, which you wounded one, so it would be 11. Fair enough. The next one would be 12. Uh, well, is that right? Turn to turn. The DC is, let's see. Let's look at that. Because I, because your dying conditions, what's what increases on a failure? Yes, not your yeah. your wounded increases once you've like if you come once you get knocked down, right, and or you know obviously something that specifically wounds you. Uh, if you die, you must recovery check is DC is ten plus your current dying value. Yeah. So, I thought. so he <laughs> failed it. So that means his dying value is up one. So he's dying two. And I guess has this gone up as you guys have leveled? Because y'all have five checks. You see that? Just notice that. What's gone up? So in that other game, in the Age of Ashes, there's four, I'm pretty sure, but you guys have five in this one. I don't know if that's I a... know I have Die Hard to give me five. Maybe that's what it is, because I think he's got that too. He does. Is it five? Yeah, okay. That's what it is. Never mind. You're an experienced GM. Saren, you're, you hear groans from the hallway to the north. Faintly, as it were, since you're quite a distance. Well, I've been feeling very useless this fucking cup, huh? Mm. Mm. I really don't know what I can do other than just fucking keep shooting and have my damage half. Don't have ghost touch weapons. Double check if they feature. <laughs> <laughs> I've already used an expected charge How about deadly aim? I've got that's an extra damage. Aptly named skill. Extra action, so I will reload, dead beam, and fire. Very quick reload. You did. Yeah. Alright, come on. Oh god. damage for shit. That's my three actions. Have we ever figured out what that language means? Circumstance bonus to damage? Because does that not just add damage? I mean, that's what it sounds like. It has always sounded like that to me. Yeah, it should uh... Yes, but I think there's some circumstance bonuses can't stack. That's right. It's circumstance, status, and item, I think. So you take whatever the, the highest of circumstance <coughs> bonuses that you have. Fair you enough. Like, Which like deadly stuff. aim would be to do? I guess. Ow. Ah shit! Snap my knee on my uh, my table. GG. 
So, you fire around, and yes, once again, you find it wafting and weaving through, but you hear some groans and moans, and you sense that at least five damage was dealt. Uh, once again, your bullet strikes, you know, it, it does damage, but it passes all the way through in a line, back up to this corner, and sizzles and pops and crackles are once again observed as the bullet kind of passes by the remnants of Lazarium on the floor here. Uh, uh, is that it for you? That's it for me. Okay, Drez. Alright, did we establish that we can heal somebody by pouring a healing potion in their mouth if they're down? Don't yep. worry about him, I will deal with him. Because I'm a little damaged that I think I need to run and heal myself. And as long as I don't have, have healing potions. And I believe it even says somewhere in the book that you can force one down someone's throat. I'm sorry, guys, but that doesn't seem like something that we would do in Pathfinder without consent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was rude. But yeah, I mean, obviously, if somebody's unconscious, you could you could put things in their mouth. You'd have to, you know, pinch the nose and all that. I right, tell you what, I'm gonna do since Fingard is gonna go up there and help Hideki. Uh, uh, let's just to... recall the last time someone controlled by that player was like, oh, I got this. Two hero hey, points. Hey. I'll do a DC. What would you say? <laughs> 15. That'll be easy. <laughs> so it was a DC 20. I thought it was going to be easy and give him an extra heal. <laughs> Logan, uh, HP. You, you really I will be. do a base one for him and do it proper. <laughs> if not, I'm stealing one of his... Potions and sorry, shoving down well, his throat and then taking all three for me. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, that's meta for me. Multiversal knowledge fills your minds. <laughs> no, no, that, that, that is 100% fair. Medicine, <laughs> no, that was this game. Yeah, I'm wrong. That was this game. Yeah. Alright, oh, so. Yeah. yeah, I was misremembering. So, sorry, Dres. What do you intend to do? Uh, I'm going to draw my pistol. Uh, I'm going to shoot at Thanos' crazy brother down here. That's nice. And then I'm just going to... I'm just going to go right down here. All right. Uh, as you walk away, you hear a explosion, and uh, this tank right here, uh, without much of a warning, <coughs> just begins like erupting flames up out of it. Almost like a, you ever seen one of those uh, oil rig fires, right? And whatever's happening is no bueno. So is that three for you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put a. Let me put a. Alright, um, are we still trying to knock this guy out? You know, at this point, yeah, I just yeah. say run out of the building. Um, do you have enough time? <laughs> I, I don't know, but I mean, it's better than just standing here and watching this asshole blow us all up. Because I've got, um, you know, three full actions to smack him now. Um, like, if it's still a chance, I would suggest you're the best person to try and grab that stick out of his hand that you help accelerate get into this bucket. Okay. I love that you did help him do all this and now you're, now you're stopping. Well, 
Oh, I have to see what would happen. <laughs> it happened. Um, okay. Okay, so, so should I shove him or just smack him? If you can know. grab, if you can grab that item, grab that item. Do you un uh, disarm with any of your stuff? Uh, I don't have any crafting. Um, so Mary, he's, he, does he have like a detonator that he's holding that I can try and grab or? Um, I mean, no, he doesn't have like an electronic detonator. I mean, this is a fuse that would just be lit, but, uh, you know, just behind him here, a fire has erupted just in the past, you know, obviously, you know, rounds or seconds, right? So it is just, like, started to kind of rage. Uh, but right. he, he is not holding any kind of device that you see. Maybe he's got a matches in his pocket or something. Does uh, your bow to disarm? Well, Mary, may, may, can I just like step on the, the the flame? Like, is that something I can do on, on the action? Yeah. Uh, no. Up? This this thing is about waist high. It's a metal like container connected to this larger one with a with a. And it sounds like tube. it's shooting up. And the, it, apparently, whatever kind of way that it's coming in and out of this tank uh, has caused, you know, the fumes at the top to be circulating or ejecting in some kind of way that Drez's bullet seems to have ignited it. So it's like, have you ever seen in like an oil rig fire, like an oil well fire? Where there's, no. uh, you ever seen like an eternal flame of, you ever seen a propane grill? Yeah. So like a flame with nothing, you know, there's not like a thing, like a piece of wood that's on fire that you can tell. It's just seemingly flames out of nowhere because the gas is like... Oh, um, so we, we need to run then. That's what I'm hearing. Well, that's up to you, a, man. A personal decision, that sounds like. Just like how you wanted to see how it, what he was doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um... And there's no way to break that um, this this uh, pipe open. Oh, uh, you. I mean, it is seemingly made out of metal, but it is not the same one that you observed before. This is definitely like a recreation out of well, what appears to be basically junk, right? Like recycled, reused, second-handed. What do we call that? Upcycled. A lot of a lot of glued together toilet paper tubes. You makeshift. Know? Yeah, makeshift. There we go. Okay. Canadian. Can I try no. and, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can I try and um, bust it open? Sure. Oh, what do you need for that? Just. I mean, you could. How do you want to do it? You want to strike it, or you want to like try to like MacGyver take it apart? I mean, you tell me. <laughs> I guess it depends what what you'll allow for a skill check. Like if I could do athletics, I'll do I that. Mean, it's, it's, uh, this is not about allowing. This is anything you want to do. Okay. Yeah, it, you can hit it with your bow. I mean, with your bow staff, so you can use your attack roll. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. I'll do. That's uh, what I say. You hit. just you want to just hit it, or do you want to try to? I mean, if you want to try to do something more finesse, that's up to you. Whatever skills you think would work. But yeah. It would be crafting if you wanted to like dismantle in any kind of like, you know, just, I've taken the screws out the kind of way. Uh, otherwise, you could just, you know, Hulk, I'll, I'll, Hulk smash. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just do a flurry of blows on it, I guess. Fair enough. Let's uh, let's see that go. Smash. Okay. So you hit this thing. Uh, I mean, you can roll your damage. Just, I mean, the hardness of this is not anything. Yeah, that's more than enough. So uh, you find that this thing is, you know, shoddily connected. Obviously, it was hastily put back together. And uh, when you sever it, the pressure that apparently was being created by however, you know, this is all hosed in and whatnot uh, causes 
this part of the hose to essentially just start ejecting lazarium in this in this direction and when that lazarium so look let me do this so I can demonstrate give you an idea of the I feel like we're in physics class right here so you know you hit it right about where you're standing right so it starts squirting out this way so as soon as that lazarium hits this flame right here uh, it blasts back this whole room and here we go on let's see Dylan, I know where you uh -oh. live I will come over there <laughs> Hold on, I drew a I drew a thing trying to zoom out by accident. PG Logan. So hold on, let me see. I think it should just be the le like a le on level DC for a reflex. Let's see. Uh, okay, so no, there is no reflex on this one, but it is the initial shock here, so I gotta be too bad for everybody. Is that me? Uh, where are you at? You standing just below, just below him? No, you you are just getting your like little whiskers singe. But so, my man here. Well, look check this out I'm finally gonna do this correctly did that work or did it double no that worked all right so everybody takes a blast of fire but you hear rumblings as explosions seem to start popping off throughout this caused by the kind of reverberation okay and <laughs> let me let me put some properly colored stuff here hold on all right so did you guys ever play the game as a kid the floor is lava yes okay well so the floor is on fire in this scenario uh, the whole base essentially is starting to catch on fire and flames erupt in this room like traces of lazerium all over the floor just start to spark and sputter uh, this big tank uh, there's like flames all around the base of it which is like heating up the lazerium but it is not like detonated obviously but it is still just spewing out lazarium. It's essentially causing like a really bad situation in this corner right here where the fire initially started. Uh, but flames quickly spread all throughout the hallway and essentially just this whole place. Uh, and look, we can do it like this. Check me out. Da -da -da -da. I, don't, I don't think that'll make everybody lag, but if it does, I'll delete it. Uh, so, da -da -da -da. what does that mean? That means at the top of your turn, everybody just gets, you just gotta take fire damage for being in the fire while you're in the fire. And it's that same roll. Fun times. However, let's see, these things, let me resolve. Uh, Man, I wish it was bigger. So this thing here uh, that was closest to it, this wraith right here, just burns up and all disapparates. Uh, the flame was so intense that it just finished him off. Uh, so let's see if that'll work. Yeah. So one of them at least is out of the way. However, you get an eerie sense that you know this is the one that dang did y'all hear that that was a pine cone hit my roof so you get an eerie sense that something is afoot 
this is the one that spawned the wraith and you see a marked uh, essence like it is even in the concealment of the fog still you feel and see this essence move out away from this wraith and it like zooms up the hallway uh, Hideki's corpse feels it and as it reaches back over here in the hallway it finds the spawn and he generates into a full-blown wraith and you hear the confirmation of this by the uh, groans and moans that he makes so let me do this to fix his name uh, hold on. put him back where he was uh well there you go he's up anyway so the uh <coughs> let's see uh, uh, that one being dead. Let's see, did I just fuck the order up? What happened here? When I put him in, did I mess it up? Yep. Yeah. Because it was at the top, was it not? Yeah, I think he was. Or he was one below the dead wraith. Right, the dead wraith, though. He was first in the order, and we had had we just started this round? Am I crazy right now? No, it's Krellin's turn. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, it's still me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, yeah. he blew us up. I have 19 minutes to bike to his place and kick his ass. That's right. You hit the tube. Yeah, yeah. So he just died in the blast. I was resolving. That's geez, dirt. All right. So this guy here uh, gets a little burned, but he is able to withstand most of the damage. Uh, everybody else, do do do, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, yes. So the whole floor is on fire now. So if you move, you're gonna have to take some fire damage. But just once. So it's not like if you move your whole turn, you're gonna get burned three times, right? Okay. Um. So I'm going to move here to prepare to get Logan up on my next turn, unless somebody else can get him. All right. So, let's see here. Flames lick at your boots. And, yes, smoke right. There you go. Get burned for five. Is that it? That's the last? Uh, yeah. Oh. That's it. Wait, no, actually. You got one more, I, right? I used three of blows, right, right. So I can, yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, then I'll, I'll use, um... Assurance medicine for a DC 20 heal for to Logan. So that's. Was it. Uh, what was it? That was 2d10 plus 10. Uh, eight. Eight, eight. For, eight for heals, I'm pretty sure. Alright, not bad. Alright, so you get him up on his feet, and what do you say to him as he comes back to consciousness? My bad. Alright, do you accept this? <laughs> oh, I look at him and... You would be prone, sorry, because you got knocked down. I think I cleared that off you by accident. And I should be wounded too? Uh, I don't think you get... Do you get wounded with ferocity? Let's check. Yeah, you do. You do? Yeah. Okay, yeah, then you're wounded too. Yeah. Alright, so... He has extended an olive branch with all of his remaining actions, yes? That's it for you? Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Vamguard. It is up to you. Um. Yeah. 
Oh, I uh, have All right, uh, I'm going to run out of the room over to Hideki. Oh, I've got music. Here we go. <laughs> Sound effect. Sorry, it was that loud as shit. I uh, can't hear anything. Oh, I think I think everybody's volume is individual. Maybe if you click the little sound tab, I think you can see the sounds I'm playing. I don't know. Yeah. I... Okay. I'm gonna feel really stupid if you're telling me you've never been able to hear any of the sounds I've been playing. <laughs> I've heard, been able to hear some. Some. The it's been there's that like I have. there's like three levels of volume. It's weird. Yeah, playlist, ambient, and interference. Well, just imagine like a Yule Log video. That's what's happening. I love it. Uh, that's two actions, and then my last action is I'm going to battle medicine Hideki. Okay. Are you assurancing, or just you don't have it? I don't have insurance. That's fair. All right, coming through good. clutch. Uh, is that it? It's just doubled. Yep. All right. I did the basic heal so that I didn't fuck it up, and then yeah, it's doubled. Fair enough. So he is on his feet and wounded. Well, he's not on his feet. He's burned, but he is wounded one. Uh, also, you're, uh, you're no, sorry, I can't. You, you're moving prone. You, yep, that's well, what I. Well, I'll give you that. Uh, uh, I will Kr lose all my hero points Kr right now. Krillin picked you up when he battle medicine your sorry ass, even though he knows you almost murdered him. <laughs> I'll give you. A, I give hey. you. A, I give you a, a mulligan. gimme. Oh uh, yeah. Alright, is that it for you? Yep, that's everything. Alright, so, uh, seeking his quarry, this thing charges after Cogsworth and lashes out with the fury. Uh, Cogs, Cogsmith, did I say worth? Cogsmith screams in terror as this thing connects a hit but misses a critical blow due to the concealment. Uh, however, its regular hit is good enough to murder him outright. And he screams his last vile screams as he falls dead. His secrets gone with him. Gurn. Uh, and sorry to rewind a second. You did move in the flames, my green friend. So you took eight flame. All right. All right, Gurn. You missed the initial blast, but now the fire has spread all through here. It's all on the floor and everywhere. It is quickly engulfed this place for all intents and purposes and it's uh, raging out of control and about to get much much worse it is definitely about to do that well what's the game plan here guys just run like hell yeah I guess I'll just yeah Alright, so you take one of these for moving through the flames, but just one, even though your movement is through them all. So a little scorchy scorch. And is, is it, you got, sorry, yeah, you got more movement right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you come to this hallway right here, uh, you sense and with your ability to see in complete darkness notice that 
the smoke is not just from the fire down the hallway that indeed this must be where the small wraith reformed into its spawn and it is snarling as it were at you Alright, so it moves to this dead one? No. Get out of here. So this one senses your presence, even in the darkness. And you feel the concentration of smog move closer to you. And a hand lashes out in noxious fashion. You said that fire stretches all the way through the hallways? Wait, 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 hold on. He should have had a... Yeah, the fire has just engulfed the whole place at this point, yeah. Uh, so he should have had a flat check, and uh, he his trait was turned off because as a spawn, he didn't have it. So let me flat check right here. This is a, a DC-5. So he missed his critical and he made his miss. So Gurn, in the darkness, you feel the smog pass through and over you. Uh, but luckily you are undamaged. Uh, and let me see, hold on. This one is dead. You know this thing gets a little screwy sometimes. Let's see. Let me put his aura back on him. There he goes. Now it's working again. Alright, so that exhausts his actions and it is the, I would assume, first action he stands up. So boom, he's got two. He is 18 out of 116 of his HP and wounded one. He's got a potion, moderate. You want to drink it? Yeah. He's giving both of us a potion. Say again. He's giving both of us a potion. I don't have any. I mean, he could hand you a potion with his with uh, an action. He's got an action remaining. I would love that, but also, are we still in fire? I didn't. Yes, but you only take the damage if you move in it. Okay. Yeah, I would ask him for one of them. Okay. Sorry, my he dog just took a shit in our apartment. <laughs> yeah. Rolled a nat one. Yep. Oh, he, he whined at me, but I was... I heard some thumping upstairs, so I thought he got spooked by that, but... Nope. I just took him out an hour right before we got started. Anyways, I'll be right back. Okay. You have a post in your inventory. Uh, Saren. Well. I am going to just run my car. Fair enough. There's 35 feet. That's one movement action. The flames lick up at you and cause you just two damage as you move through them. Five, 10, 15, 9, 20, 30, 35, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Three move actions through this magical fire that casts the light. Fair enough. And <laughs> well, that's the end of me. Drizz. Peace, bitches. That's one.
hold the Costanza, are just pushing women and children out of the way to clear a path for everybody else to follow. Alright, I'm gonna go to there. There's no women or children here. You're fine. That is the extent of you, your movement? Oh, that's, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Prillin. Uh, and let's see, my friend, you take a little burny burn. Your shoelaces get singed. I move over here, um, I think that's like one action, and then we can't get past this guy because he's blocking the hallway, right? He's oh, the yeah, he's smoke, run. yeah. Oh, we can, we can walk past him, okay. Oh, yeah. I'll keep going. It's more difficult for you to pass through these guys than it is him. Not for real, but you know. They are physically there. Move right here for another action, and then five, and then I'll end up here for my last action. Jesus, how much speed do you have? I'm at forty-five. Wow. Vim guard is. To clean up his dog shit, so he's just Yo, gonna. I are you back? Just got back. Yep. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, drink that bottle of. All right. Healing potion. You chug a lug and heal twenty four. Stepping right yep. on Gurn with no regard. I have no regard for goblins of any kind. <laughs> wow. That's racist. And that is my end of my turn. Alright, so you are. Uh, Just uh, everything I said, we should have stayed in the first room. Seeing daylight. <laughs> Yeah, we should have just left with the dude as soon as the raids came. Or before. And we wait for like eight hours for them to show up. Uh, I, my comment is I just think it's funny when like people are like telling story details. It's just like, what? And then this guy makes one kind of offhand comment about y'all motherfuckers should listen to me. And you're like, damn, we really, we should have listened to him. Let's do it right now in the middle of the battle. Let's change our whole plan. It made my whole night and I really thank you guys. Was that my birthday present? <laughs> yes. Thank you're, you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you got like 20 minutes till you're 40, dude. Uh, and, uh, yeah, cool. Jokes on you, you're 40. Yeah, in Eastern Time where I grew up, I am, right? Alright, so, uh, this thing is seeing that you all are, are, uh, leaving it and it starts to move out of the lab. Um, uh, Uh, and it finds right here the first thing it sees is Mr. Hideki. Oh, no. Oh, no. However, even though it manages to, you know, observe him in its own mist, it misses its strike and he evades certain death. Gurn, cornered, trapped even. What will you do? Let me 
So this is, this is for the monster. And this is for you. Even though I've got you selected, don't worry. Sorry. <laughs> of course you get the higher one. Alright, you cuddle up right behind Krillin. You have more movement and that's it. Oh, here you go. I can fix your light like this. Check me out. Uh, there you go. Can you see now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, place is on fire, though, because it's red. Get it? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Alright, so this smog monster is pretty mad, Scooby-Doo style mad. He rages down the hallway and the first thing he comes to is the resident gun toter. Uh, and he makes a initial first impression with, wow. Two identical strikes, pretty much. Couldn't do Pico. that again if I wanted to. Hideki is going to run. Run, run as fast as he can. Well, let's see. His movement is 20, 25. twenty-five normal. Yeah. I think he can get all the way to the table, like ten feet away from Brillin. That's it right there, yep. Right at the edge of the circle, I believe. Okay. Let's see. It's 20. That's 35. Uh, that's another 25, so yeah. Well, no, I, yeah, I shorted him 5 feet, right? Boom. That's what I thought. I missed yeah. one. Because it, it kind of... Y'all don't see it, but there's a effect that I don't have running for this, like, fog. Which I imagine would just lag the shit out of all of us, right? Because it'd be some kind of, like, fog around everybody. So I get a message when you all move through it. It kind of stutters me. Anyway. Fourth wall stuff. Alright, so he moves clear out of the fog and is clear and starts to kind of cough and sputter, but is alive and for the moment well. The wounded one, Saren, you were just accosted by this creature. What will you do? Well, I quietly say to Vern, Oh, Vimgard. This is for Hideki. Sorry. I quietly say to Vimgard, I don't. I don't think we can outrun the fire, but luckily I just have to outrun you. <laughs> just take off. Then you knock him down. And do you like nut punch him on the way out? You like nut tap him? Sure, yeah, just a little bag tag. Yeah, nice. <laughs> One movement. It's five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, and one. Almost up. That's my three actions. Alright. Driz. I need all those hit points. I'm coming for you, Saren. <laughs> I know your movement speed. You're not getting anywhere. <laughs> Logan is what, 20 or 25? 25. Damn. You gotta get them boots of bounding, man. <laughs> yes. Listen, Sir Derwin actually has a uh, elven kind that gave him five feet of movement, extra movement that built him up to twenty-five. That's activated, though, isn't it? The elven kind. Yeah. Oh no! You gave me. You told me about the other ones the week later. I think we changed them. I'm not hundred percent sure. 
Oh, okay. Remind me later. Oh, Find and me. don't forget my fire damage treatment. Can do it. I did. Yeah. Oh, I did it right before your. <coughs> Not punch. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so on to Krillin Dress having moved through the hallway and taking a little singe. Uh, Krillin, what you doing? Okay, um, I'll run, I'll run out, um, let's see. You should take two actions, pull that bomb out of your bag and drop it on the floor. Isn't this place going to blow up anyways? Yep. This is where we were gonna we we're gonna blow this building up at the start of this whole adventure when we were here the first time. I know. I want to save it for what's her face, Loveless. Okay. Okay. So forty-five. With that, the bomb in your bag catches on fire. No. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is are you? It's in the bag of holding anyway, right? Do I even still have it? Or did I give it to someone yeah, else? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you also have the package, yeah. Okay. That's a big holding. Right, so as you cough and splutter out oh. of the flames. Two actions. Um, you are singed for one measly damage more. You notice that uh, almost conveniently the flames abate right at the... Uh, threshold for the apartment here. So out on the landing, it seems to be rather safe. It's an action to open the door, right? Oh, the door, I believe, was open already, right? Oh, it was. I mean, it's <laughs> or it's it's burned down anyway. It's on. Okay, gotcha. yeah, so, it's um, well, actually, weren't there a couple sets of cal caltrops in that hallway? <laughs> oh shit! He did pass oh, over. The floor is on fire. He did yeah, pass did. over those cow shops, but yeah, I would assume that you know he's he noticed them and leapt over gracefully in his athletic. Whatever. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll move, over here, move over here to the <laughs> to the edge by the water. <laughs> Smart play. Definitely get right next to the edge. Bam guard. I can hear you. Nope. Yep, we heard you. Yeah, I just dropped, I dropped my foundry connection for a second. Uh-oh. Yeah, it was getting a little laggy for me. I think maybe the chat getting a little thick. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just getting a little laggy on you. Yeah. I am in Alabama. Oh yeah, I just, I just wigged out on Discord. I, yeah. I'm gonna refresh Foundry on my end. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yeah. My Discord just kind of like bloop. dropped and reconnected. On the fire, maybe. Probably. All right, so everybody, let's see. Make sure it's not paused. It's good. Everybody, straight. Yeah. Bim guard. Okay. Uh. Hit forty feet here. Another 10 feet. Uh, if I can't do anything else, my last action is going to refocus my uh, spell strike. Okay, you do so. Uh, and the flames that you pass through lick up at you for a measly 2 damage. Uh, this wraith. 
from all the way back here. Let's see here. Roll a percent die to see if it goes for Vanguard. Uh, well, he just comes to the first thing he sees, which is going to be Hideki right here behind everybody. Uh, he You're only. Kill this poor kid? He only. <laughs> what? I, I, I am not doing anything. The small grave. The small grave is attacking Hideki. That. Everyone that hasn't died yet is running out the door first, while everyone who is dying is still coming, trying to come out. Not even trying to help us. Might tell you something about, you know, how that designation got to be that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately for young Hideki, he is at 38 HP and has just been hit. For 42 damage and is now wounded to dying one on the ground in the flames with a small wraith hovering over him but exhausted. Gurn, you hear the cries of your young but latest party member and you have a choice the hall before you or your companion behind you. He can't be healed anymore, right? I. Can't ba he can't be battle medicine. So. Yeah. Well, be that's a question. Does that go away when you get knocked down and you uh, get up uh, again? Not to. It's a 24 hour over. period. Yeah, that's 24. That, that would be GM discretion on that one. I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah, right. But real, like raw, I guess the question. Because this is kind of like we were talking in the other game about like the way I've kind of always played it with us is like once combat ends and or once you've been downed and back up I guess you could kind of call it video game rules so probably not the way most people do it but essentially that kind of a thing is like a clearing house right and I suppose with death, at least, it shouldn't be. Because like we were saying, you know, oh, bleeding while you're down should just basically kill you. Right? Yeah. Um, so, battle medicine, the feet itself, it says 24 hours. Because it's, it's, it's pretty much doing treat wounds for six seconds. Yeah. But look, he got some right here. He's just he's pouring this in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Garen. So, click click use. Is it just does it will it roll when you click use that five d six plus twelve? There you go. Perfect. All right. So you bring him back up spluttering and he comes to and you kind of pat him to stand up so he is able to whoop. doesn't that mean he missed his concealment and poured it on his, his crotch well no because he got he, he got it the first time which is the one I think that should have counted for it but yes that would definitely have been funny <laughs> and definitely would have been how we played it so, uh, you actually, though, pour the sins out and manage to get him back up on his feet as he realizes the urgency of the situation. Uh, having expended most of your actions, I believe you have one remaining. Or no, did you have to get that, craft that quickly? And or just remove it to hand it to him? Alright, so, in this one... Oh, fucking Hideki's wounded three, too, eh? Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, this yeah, one we're... gets right up to you, Vimgard, and you are momentarily frightened. However, it seems to sense where the last bit of respite came from and turns its attention to the savior of the moment. Oh, 
however, you, the blessings of our Jesus shine upon you. However, the other hand comes around and connects. You feel this wretched smog pass through you for 21 damage. Uh, I see we're really close. Do y'all want to... I should have probably said that before that monster attack. Y'all want to call it right there? Just so that we're at the top of a round like we usually do? Or y'all want to go one more? No, I'll call it there. more just to get up the fucking... No, I mean, we're... It's no, midnight. No, we're at the top of the round. Just three. call it right there. Yeah, Fair it's enough. kind of perfect. GG. Decent one. Oh. Yeah. So game plan for 